Hi everybody, uh, this is Brandon Merkvartik reporting for SanPedroNewsPilot.com. I am here with Mike Lansing, Executive Director of the uh, San Pedro Boys and Girls Club. Last week, uh, Mike had a uh, huge surprise and so did the uh, kids at the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, LeBron James uh, showed up out of the blue and uh, visited uh, the club. We found out that uh, LeBron James was offering uh, grants uh, to redo gymnasiums that were tied to education with our College Mount program. Um, we obviously have a, a major link to education in our club. So we wrote a grant to his foundation and um, we were awarded a grant to redo our gym. And he liked what we did, so he decided to come out and talk to the kids and, and let them know they're doing good things and uh, motivate them to do some more. Help me stay on track by giving you a folder. Each kid in college will have one of these with the grades and everything. All your test scores and everything go in this folder. So eventually you can just ship it off to the college and everything's done. So that's what we do over here. Uh, I'm going to take them to the next room. I'm all the college kids that came through this, through this program is in college now. I love to dance, so uh, I'm just gonna follow my dreams like you did. That's so what I like to hear. You know what I'm saying? Way to go, Amber. Yo, what's up? This is LeBron James from Akron, Ohio. Play for the Miami Heat. I want to say congratulations, 75th anniversary to this Boys and Girls Club, man, to you guys. You guys are unbelievable, and let's do another 75 years to get to 150. Thank you. Fight. You guys gotta work together, okay? Alright? Give each other that. Give me that bit. Now give each other that. No more of that fighting stuff, okay? Alright? You're officially out of timeout. Here we go. Don't play. <laughs> walks in the gym and all these um, high school uh, boys and girls, we have both of our, our big teams uh, there, so they were just ecstatic, he was great, he was taking pictures with them, he was shooting three pointers, um, and then he took a full tour of the club so he could see different kids in different program settings. This was uh, under the radar, no media, no nothing, it's just LeBron and the kids. Yeah, he. Um, we found out approximately a week prior to the event, he, uh, the Boys and Girls Club of America called me and said he wants to come and see your club, the improvements and the kids, but no media. He doesn't want to have any kind of big old uh, crazy, you know, trying to get through the crowd to get to the kids. He just wants to talk to kids, so you have to keep it quiet. As a matter of fact, he told us if you don't keep it quiet, They'll have their um, their lead group come in, and if it's already you know looking like it's uh, a Macy's Day parade, he's not going to show up. LeBron, um, his foundation gave us one hundred twenty thousand dollars, and I mean the, the things that we were able to do was all new skylights, all new lights in the gym, redid the the whole ceiling, recapped it, and put. Uh, all new insulation in, we redid the whole floor, new bleachers. LeBron took a lot of heat for the decision when he got one on TV, and he, but, but he had a plan. So what he did with the decision is he made all his sponsors put money into a pot that was going to basically, with his own money, start a foundation so that he could start funding boys and girls clubs nationwide. He did something that was really cool, and he's going to do some more. So um, good job, LeBron. He stood up and our kids are benefiting from it, so thanks.